Hello, welcome back. Uh, in our earlier lectures, we talked a little bit about what security is and why security is hard and why you may want to think of security as a uh, risk management procedure. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about some of the aspects of security. What do the experts say security really is all about? Okay, so if you look at a computer security book, uh, almost any security book, um, you'll see in the first chapter, or sometimes even on the first page, that many people say that computer security is really about three things. Confidentiality, integrity, and availability. And so I want to talk a little bit about what those things are, what they mean. Um, some experts also add to that list two other things, authentication and uh, non-repudiation. So what are these things? Well, confidentiality is about protecting the privacy of your data keeping it from being disclosed to unauthorized persons. Integrity is about protecting well, the integrity of your data, keeping unauthorized persons from changing or modifying it. And availability is about making sure that resources are there when you need them. Um, if, we, if we add in authentication and non-repudiation, authentication is about knowing that the person on the other end of the line is who they claim to be. And non-repudiation is about um, can any actor in the system take some, some action and then say, it wasn't me or, you know, I didn't do that. Uh, and those are important too. But most of what we're going to be talking about in computer security are the first three. These, some, some books call this the CIA triangle. Confidentiality, integrity, availability. Well, it may have occurred to you almost immediately probably that there are some topics which are left off of that list. For example, cryptography is a very important topic in, in computer security, and we'll spend a lot of time talking about that. And these other things on the list, digital signatures, access control, firewalls, passwords, those things are very important um, in computer security. So why aren't they included among the list of important topics? Well, here's the reason. If you think about cryptography, for example, no one encrypts data just to encrypt it. The reason you encrypt data is to accomplish something, usually confidentiality. And so uh, you can think of cryptography as a mechanism by which you uh, achieve confidentiality or sometimes integrity. In that sense, confidentiality is sort of a higher order entity. Uh, it's the thing you want to accomplish. And cryptography is a mechanism by which you do that. And these other things like firewalls and passwords and certificates are there for approximately the same reason. They're there to accomplish a higher goal, typically one of those three, confidentiality, integrity, or availability. All right, so one might ask the question, if those are the big three, which of them is the most important? Well, I think the answer to that is, it very much depends on the context. For example, if you're uh, building a military site to uh, protect uh, military secrets, you know, the national, the national war plan or something like that, then confidentiality is probably what you care most about. On the other hand, if you're a bank and you're interested in protecting uh, the bank balances, yes, you, you care about confidentiality, you don't want people to know what other people have in the bank, but you really care about, you know, the ability to protect the integrity of that data to keep somebody from changing it arbitrarily. And finally, availability, if you're uh, an online retailer, for example, you really care that your website is up and available when somebody wants to buy something from you. And, um, and so, which of these is important? In some scenarios, they may all be important, and some, one of them may vastly outweigh the others, but they're all important in their own contexts. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about these individually, confidentiality, availability, integrity. What's confidentiality about? It's about how you protect your data from unauthorized disclosure. And historically, this was the first of the big three that anybody built computer security systems worrying about. Um, so what, if you're building a computer security system and confidentiality is your concern, probably what you want to do is ask yourself several questions. First of all, is all my data equally sensitive? And if it's not, then how do I parcel out my data into the various pots so that this one receives a great deal of protection, this one maybe not so much, and this over here not at all, I don't care. Um, so how do I 
if I've done that, then how do I characterize who's authorized to see what's in this pile or this pile or this pile? You know, how do I, how do I administer those, position, those uh, permissions? How are they checked according to what rules? Uh, and can, can these authorizations change over time? So if I'm building a secure system and what I care about is confidentiality, probably those are the kind of questions I want to ask. How about integrity? Well, what's integrity about? It's about who is authorized to modify my data. Uh, I may not care whether they see it or not, but I, I, I definitely don't want them to be able to change it if they shouldn't be able to. Integrity is historically uh, a somewhat fuzzier notion and more context dependent than confidentiality. Um, so what are the questions that we might ask in that domain? Well, of course, who is, who is authorized to modify my data? How, do, how again do I decide which data I need to protect more strenuously than others, or stringently than others? Uh, and maybe there's some data I don't really care about. If I if I parcel my data out in that way, then how do I uh, how do I control who can who can modify data and who can't? Um, can I detect uh, and or correct erroneous or malicious modifications to data? And can these authorizations change over time? So those are the kind of questions we might ask about building a security system for integrity. All right, so how about availability? That's the one that's left. Um, availability is about ensuring that resources are there when I need them. Um, threats to availability are usually called denial of service attacks. And many of the viruses and worms that you hear about on the internet are in fact denial of service attacks. So the kind of questions that you ask here are, are the resources provided to me when I need them? Are they provided fairly by the system? So if you have multiple users on the system, are they all getting their fair share of the resources? Um, is the system perhaps too difficult or tedious to use uh, so that it becomes useless, right? If, if things are so slow uh, on Amazon.com, say, then I'll go to Barnes & Noble and buy my book. Um, and how is concurrency controlled by the system? Meaning if I have multiple users, how do they interact with one another? And can they you know, mess up one another's data? All right, so what have we learned in this lesson? Well, the, th the big three in computer security are confidentiality, integrity, and availability. And some people also say that authentication and non-repudiation should be included in that list of the big five, perhaps. If you're going to ask which of these is the most important, well, it's very much dependent upon the context. Depending on the scenario in which you're operating, one of these may be vastly more important than the others, or you may care about all three or two of them. And then finally, um, many of the other topics which you might encounter in dealing with computer security, like cryptography and uh, passwords, firewalls, those are really mechanisms by which one accomplishes these other larger overriding goals. And so those are the things we care about. The mechanisms are things that we put in place to accomplish those goals. Thank you.